If I become a prisoner of war, I will keep faith with my fellow prisoners. I will give no information, nor take part in any action which might be harmful to my comrades. If I am a senior, I will take command. If not, I will obey the lawful orders of those appointed over me and will back them up in every way. For those who were involved, it's always the ticking of a certain clock that comes to mind when they think about the prison camp, even though the whole thing started when Sergeant Martin called them over. From here on in, we're really going to get the business. Because if they don't know already, they soon will that Johnson and Whitaker have escaped. They knew, of course. Had they not helped? They also knew the greater challenge lay ahead. The two who had escaped needed 48 hours to make the border. Their job, to give their two buddies that 48 hours. They won't find out. That they're sure gonna give it a try. Pull out, dear prisoners! Pull out! Pull out! Pull out! Okay, fellas. Now this is it. Remember what I said. Two men from this barracks are missing. Do not think that it will get far, however. You have accomplished nothing but to make trouble for yourselves. The enemy's campaign was started. They had 48 hours to go, to hold out. We will find out how this was done and who organized it. First man up, PFC Brown. Ordered served up on a platter, the members of the escape organization. Sure you don't want a cigarette? Get American. The recipe, sweetness and light. Then, if nothing starts to rise, bring to a boil. Listen, Tig! I will have those rings! Have you experienced solitary confinement? I promise you will not forget it. Forty hours to go. The men hear that Brown has been placed in the hole. How long will they keep him? Until they're satisfied they're wasting their time. Which they are. How about Novak? Any word yet? He's still up there. Novak! That's better. You really must 31 to hours to work. go. Now, once again, who are the members of the escape organization? Keep your eyes on me. Who are the men, Novak? It's stupid of you not to answer. Someone will. Why not you? You could sleep, Novak, on a real bed. 21 hours to go. How would you like to move into better quarters, hmm? With time racing past, the Inquisitor pulls out all stops on Corporal Blake. Did you know that the village below boasts many attractive young girls? Many a progressive prisoner has spent a pleasant evening in the village. You are an intelligent man, more intelligent than most of you. Can't you see that you will harm no one by telling us something that we will find out anyway? Well, all right. You see, I'm not angry. Return to your barracks. I've never been in the hole yet. Well, you wouldn't like it. Stinks. No plumbing, you know? <laughs> no room for plumbing. That interrogator's no dope. He trained for the job. But you fellas played it smart by not trying to play it smart. Just sit there like a dope with your mouth shut. That's the best bet. 
I, um, I think they're saving me for dessert. <laughs> Seventeen hours to go. You will come to understand, prisoner Martin, that every man of us on the People's Army is a friend of the American worker. We are not against Americans. You could do much more to help your fellow prisoners to better living conditions here in the camp, you know? If you help to disband such groups as this escape organization. Such groups do no good and only create trouble for the camp population as a whole. You could do much good for everyone here. Look at it in that way. I can promise that neither you nor anyone else will be punished for any past activities in such an organization if it is disbanded and we can be sure that it will operate no longer. What do you say? Stand up! Look down, Martin. At your feet. You will stand at attention until you answer my questions. And if one of your feet moves outside my little circle, I will have the guard put a bayonet point through it. Now, Martin, you are a member of the Organization for Escape. Is that not true? Is that not true? Stand still, Martin. You are an organizer. Is that not true? You will answer. Is that not true? Answer me. I guess I must have conked out. But not before that goon of his gave me a couple of souvenirs with his bayonet. Is there anything yet on uh, Johnson and Whitaker? No, no word yet. They've had time to make it to the border by now. We're gonna be okay. We just keep on sticking together. Because if we do, We'll come through this with a body and a conscience in one piece. And later on, when they thought about it, they thought of the clock in that airless, tension-filled room where the questions had come again and again. They would keep silent and keep faith. The unquenchable heartbeat of their will to live. Keep faith. Keep faith. With my fellow prisoners, I will give no information, nor take part in any action which might be harmful to my comrades. If I am a senior, I will take command. If not, I will obey the lawful orders of those appointed over me and back them up in every way.